I'm here to talk about the i345 project because um, I initially talked about it in late 2022 when I first did a video about it when it was still in its study phase. Now they're actually starting to work on it. I'll work on it, but they've got the plans out and uh, when they're going to do it. Well, this is kind of where i345 is. If we go over here, it takes it kind of forms a like you know. It kind of orders where it kind of shows where downtown Dallas is because you know you cross because it's kind of saying that you cross um I three forty five and suddenly you're in like what East Dallas South Dallas uh but if you go west in downtown so it's a very important uh freeway uh, to Dallas and it's a spur route of I forty five and also where U S seventy five ends and begins as you clearly see here but down here it's uh i-45 hence the name of the spur being i-345 the problem with i-345 with that is that it's uh it's elevated as you can see here it's elevated like this and it kind of goes through a lot of that kind of causes problems for people because when it, you know how when some of these people are initially built just like i-30 to cause problems and uh, that's, what that's what they try to address like you know we could have the street grid stuff like that because like you see here, these are the plans. They're going to kind of bury it because, you know, bury it kind of like how they did with, uh, it was like, it was 75, I-30 in Arlington, Texas, and stuff like that. As you can see, this is a, this is a recommended alternative. I talked about this in the previous video because they were um, showing multiple options, like the no build, the build. This is kind of how it's going to look like because the like two streets will be intersecting over um, I-345 because when they currently go over it, I'd zoom in a bit because I'll say streets uh, intersect. Stuff like over here, you see. Are over here you see them go over and then you see stuff like um you see that's kind of how what it's supposed to be looking in the future something like this because i guess this is something they're starting to do because they're doing the same with uh i30 because i30 soon is also going to be somewhat dug somewhat going to have to dig deep And uh, my opinion on this project is that it's very good, somewhat necessary, because, you know, some of these things were affected. They could build parks over this. This can kind of help traffic improve a bit. I know I-345 won't have front roads or anything, but sometimes that's kind of needed so the street grid stays the same, because you see how it is? I don't think you can fit a front road through there without major controversy. I'm gonna go somewhere else real quick. I need to see the timeline for this project because I'm pretty sure it's supposed to happen like the next five years. And capping opportunities. No, but I think this project is supposed to kind of like reset the whole thing. It's supposed to like kind of reset downtown Dallas. It says discontinuous threat drills will be constructed along the highway between Bryce Street and Hall Street to I-30. It's interesting because I-30 is also part of this. Let me go to plan feasibility study goals. That's the one I talked about previously, uh, but currently we're talking about how they've actually gotten it. Uh, they've gotten stuff done. Okay, let's go here. As you clearly see, they're trying to make a uh, downtown Dallas more and more walkable because sometimes these freeways cause a challenge in the walkability of places. 
and it's not necessarily a, a good thing. No, but as you can see, you see uh, this project starts uh, somewhere on I-45, north of uh, SMI, SM right, uh, highway, like, you know, Latin Expressway, whatever you want to call it. Then it extends up north to Spur 366, where US-75 thus uh, begins. Because lots of changes are going to be happening. Could you see? This is what's currently is. This is what's being proposed. This is I-30. Let me zoom in a bit. Okay. It's a proposed plan. Malcolm X Boulevard. Interesting. Interesting. Next for that, because uh, Malcolm X Boulevard. Goes over I-30. That's also being redone. Because there's a whole big I-30 project also coinciding with this. Because they're trying to fix up all of downtown Dallas. And that's the main goal of these projects. Fix up the freeways. Because as you can clearly see, they're kind of aged. Maintenance. And it uh, probably be a whole lot better if they fix the canyon. Around here. Uh, to I-35V, which is uh, west of that. Uh, but in my opinion, products like these are always uh, uh, very useful because lots of damage was done. Lots of damage was done uh, by these freeways, as I reiterated in uh, previous videos. Because sometimes it destroys uh, certain neighborhoods because they have to go through, and they used to not even care about it. Because like I thirty in the East Dallas used to bulldoze through neighborhoods, split them in half, and that's why they're trying to bury it because. I think burying it will be a better option for a neighborhood and having functions. No, but this project is probably supposed to start in like, uh, let me check again because it's been a while. Hold up, it's been a while since I, oh yeah, okay. As I check that. Because. Because the pressure's like around the uh, like the late 20, 20s, like 2028, 2027, around that time, which is when they're actually gonna finish this. Not they're actually gonna start on this project because It's been a long time coming, and there's been lots of complaint about this freeway because it's very controversial. A freeway like this is very controversial. It's still staying there. People are like that, so it tends to be overlooked and brushed aside as something that should be completely torn apart and turned into a boulevard. But Texas said no. We're gonna. This is kind of like the hybrid alternative, because as it was called uh, back in the 2022 feasibility study. And uh, I think it's going to go pretty great because construction will probably delay lots of things. Uh, but I guess when I get more updates, I guess I'll share it. Uh, Dallas Motor Forward Project has started construction also. And yeah, this has been another video and I guess I'll see y'all soon.